So you're actually doing your own multi-grafted backyard garden? That's what I'm doing, yeah. yes. To have as many varieties as I can in a very small area, having a small backyard, I can't have the space to grow everything I want, so I do a lot of grafting. I am here with Jono, who's come all the way from America to visit here, us here at Daly's Nursery. Now, Jono, you're a passionate fruit grower. Would you like to tell me a little bit about where you're from? Okay, um, I'm from uh, Orange County, Southern California, um, in a little place called Foothill Ranch. It's up in the hills east of Irvine, if you know that part of the world. So what <coughs> sort of fruits do you grow really well in your, in your Well, garden? we can grow mangoes, and um, at home we have a number of different varieties. And of course, having a small backyard, I can't have the space to grow everything I want, so I do a lot of grafting to have as many varieties as I can in a very small area. So you're actually doing your own multi-grafted backyard garden? That's what I'm doing, yeah. yes. So uh, where do you collect your sign wood from? Well, I belong to the California Rare Fruit Growers, uh, the Orange County chapter, and uh, we go to our members' backyards, so we collect scions then. And then also we have what we call the Great Scion Exchange. Okay, so all the people from all around bring their scion wood to a central location and we just have tables of all of the variety. You know, everything is out there from every variety of avocado that you can imagine and um, all the stone fruit, um, apples and uh, apriums and pluots and peaches and nectarines and nectar plums and wow. you name it. So in your backyard you were telling me, uh, Jono was telling me he's got quite a small um, backyard. Patio, yeah. How, patio. how many um, different varieties of fruit are well, you growing? Avocado which has started off as a forte and it's got Queen, it's got Pinkerton, it's got uh, Stewart, it's got a whole bunch of things on because they need to be cross-pollinated and of course I haven't got room to grow another yeah. tree so I graft onto it yeah. and then you come there's a hole behind that there's uh, dragon fruit growing over the fence and um, and then you come down and there is a, now a juicy peach mango in one corner and then uh, the other corner is a Frankenstein fig tree which has got a bazillion different uh, varieties on it. And do you call it the Frankenstein? That's yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Anybody growing multi-grafted trees, you are going to end up with a Frankenstein tree in your garden. <laughs> and, 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 and it's good. You know, yeah. My wife gets out there and she might have uh, a bourgeois something or other or a cadoda or uh, you know, a, a peach honey or whatever. Yeah. And it's all on the same tree. Yeah, yeah, so you get, you get um, the variety. Variety instead of quantity, which yeah, can be yeah. a fantastic thing. And you can extend your season on the same tree. In that well, that's way right. Too, yeah, so, yeah. And then you go across, there's, apple, there's an apple that's a dud, really doesn't, doesn't do much, but you know, it's. it's I, haven't can, yeah, I haven't can, cannibalized it, but I've used it as a rootstock to graft other stuff on there. And yeah. further, there's a coconut cream mango, which is oh, beautiful, fine. beautiful. And then I've got uh, the persimmon, and it's a Fuyu persimmon with about two different varieties of persimmon on it. And then right in the corner I've got a longan that I've just tried to graft a lychee on. And then you come back the other way and there's a, uh, in a big pot I've got a cherimoya which has got adamoya and cherimoya and sugar apples on mm, it. Fantastic. And then there's a, yeah, and then there's a citrus tree that's just a pure lemon tree because in California, you can't uh, move citrus trees around because of the, um, the, yeah, the disease, the Asian um, it's H HLB Florida, or something. Hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, we've got it in our area, so that's under quarantine. But then I've got Frankenstein peach trees, then you've got pluots <laughs> and apriums and all that sort of stuff on it. Wow. And it's, it's fun. So yeah. Jono, my, que my big question for you is for people out there who are growing, um, who have small spaces and want to grow a lot of things in their space like you do, how do they learn the techniques of grafting? Have you, have you had any um, commercial experience or did you teach yourself? No, basically there's a lot of YouTube videos that talk about grafting techniques and there's a number of them. And before the sign exchange, the, uh, ch our chapter, uh, invites people to come and have a look and we do a demo on the different types of grafting techniques okay, that are so available. So You're teaching people the process as well as exchanging the sign Right, wood. right. So, you know, when they do, they've got some 
chance of success. Yeah. You know, and of course, you know, we'll also sell them buddy tape and stuff like that, yeah. you know, just to, to help them out. And then, and then the other, the other thing is to have a go, and um, yeah, don't don't just, be frightened to. No. You're not. It's like a haircut. It just grow back if you. Well, if it right. doesn't work, and yeah, you yeah, can try yeah. again. So. And that's what we always say to our members, you know, so, because we're the adventurous type. You know, we don't say you can't do anything. Give it a try and yes. see what you come up with. You know, yeah, just, that's right. It's amazing. It's all about the desire to do it. So. Yeah. yeah. Now, now, Jono, we've been around the orchard here today and we've tasted a lot of different fruits, haven't we? And yeah. Have you, have you got a favourite fruit? Well, you know, I know you're going to ask that. My favourite <laughs> fruit, of course, is durian, but, you know, durian doesn't grow here. <laughs> no. But what I was amazed is the miracle fruit and how that changes the palate so that everything after you eat that is yes. sweet, you know, so it was really wonderful. Yeah. And thanks, Kath, I really do appreciate the, the opportunity to come over here and have a look. And, of course, we do a similar thing, and it's called Let's Find Out. Uh, so if you do a... YouTube video and uh, a look at uh, YouTube, have a look for Let's Find Out and you'll see us going around to all the gardens in the US, well in California, let's put it that way. We're going to do a mango tasting in July in Florida. Book me in, I'm on my way. <laughs> thank you so much, Jono. Thanks, it's Katie. been a pleasure having you here oh, and um, thank you for thank coming you. so far to so, Jono from the United States of America. <laughs> thank you. My name is Kath Kermode. Thank you for watching this video. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Please click on the bell to subscribe to our videos so you don't miss any. And keep watching here at dailiesfruit.com.au.